Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 16 of the Legal Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, seems like we have a similar poem to yesterday, maybe. We'll see. I uh, hope everyone's having okay, uh, doing okay. It's the middle of the month already, which is kind of crazy, if you ask me. I feel like I just got back and I'm still like complaining about being tired. But it is very cold here in New York. It is 24 degrees Fahrenheit, what is that? Like negative six or something? Uh, Celsius, and I just ran for a run. Um, and I am, yeah, I, don't know, I need to eat soon. So let's let's do this problem. Let's get some food. Uh, and in case uh, those of you who are curious, especially my my uh, my Indian friends, uh, well, that probably came out a little weird. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. But uh, I'm getting Indian food today. Is why I said it that way. I don't know if that came out weird. But I. I, I I am basically doing um, butter chicken and uh, tiki. No, 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 not, that's not it. Butter chicken and sag paneer. I love sag paneer. It's one of my favorite dishes of all time, uh, just in general, not just Indian. So I don't know. Anyway, I uh, <laughs> hope that is insightful. I don't know. I'm just very excited about food. It turns out is, is what I'm trying to say. And let's take a look at today's farm. Uh, today we have 2975 maximum square area by removing fences from a field. Seems like it's maybe similar to yesterday, as I said. Okay, there's a... Da, 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 da. This is similar. Okay, wait. No, no, this is still same as yesterday. We don't maximize by removing some of the fences. Mm, I mean, I. what is the difference between this and yesterday? I'm still going to come into see. Uh... Oh, oh, yesterday. Okay, I think this is the problem that I thought we had yesterday, because okay, yeah, yeah, because you don't have all the gaps like there was yesterday. You actually have to um, remove the one. So these are the only fence that you get, and then you may be wanting to remove them. Um, okay. Uh, I think the trickiest part is still, I mean, I, I think we kind of talked about it yesterday, right? Um, the, the reason why we kind of swapped this because I was like, oh, I misread this problem a little bit. I think this is the problem that I, I thought we were getting yesterday, um, and that's fine. Okay, so I think the first thing to note is that w the thing that we were saying about... Um, Uh, uh, the independence of the each dimension um, is no longer true, right? Um, it's just that, you know, because it has to be exact square. You cannot, I, I, you cannot say put a two by two field in a two by three uh, rectangle or something, right? So, okay. So, yeah, uh, I mean, I think the idea is still going to be the same. Um, we have 600 of these. So we can just kind of, um, hmm. I mean, first of all, I guess we have to still sort, right? And then uh, I imagine there's a sweep line, but what am I trying to sweep? Um, hmm. 600, can I just focus on one of them? Do, 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 do. Uh, I mean, I guess that should be fine because we're just looking for them, right? So, um, so I think for each one, so six hundred, um, so six hundred squares is going to be like three, um, three sixty, right? Thousand. Um, And so you, you might have, it's just about like, yeah, so maybe what I want to write is something like um, expenses dot append um, one, and then also do it at, um, which one's horizontal? Two, three, okay. Then uh, just say R, right? And then, yeah, this way we don't have to worry about uh, 
like implementing the edge cases, right? Uh, and what I want to do now is just um, for for n square of these, these are the possible gaps that we can have on each dimension, right? So maybe we can have something like p gaps for possible gaps, we have fences, right? And this includes, you know, uh, the ones and the things, and maybe I don't have to sort them here. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if we did or not. And maybe that's actually cleaner that way, honestly, with the API, because you don't assume state changes. But then now we can say, uh, you know, gaps is equal to maybe a set. Uh, and then we just kind of go like, um, right? Something like this. Uh, and maybe this is I plus one, actually. Uh, and then it's just fences up. Uh, and technically, I guess now you don't have to sort it because we're just doing something like this, right? Uh, so gaps dot add. Um, I think technically J is always bigger than I, so maybe that's a little bit cleaner. But, uh, but yeah, and then we return gaps. So then now we have V gaps, or let's just say H gaps is equal to P gaps of H fences. And V gaps is equal to P gaps of V fences, right? Um, and this is basically saying that, okay, um, another way of thinking about it is that we're trying to define uh, for the horizontal one, the upper bound, and then the lower bound. Uh, and then for the vertical one, the left side and the right side, right? Um, and this is basically brute forcing all possible left side and right side. And then that will allow us to kind of, um, you know. And then from this, um, maybe we can even sort this as well, maybe. And then once you sort this, right, um, then now you can do um, the two pointers algorithm. You can also, make, you know, there are a couple of ways you can write this. Maybe I'm a little bit lazy today, right? Um, you could probably just do the two pointers, but here we can maybe convert this to a set. Uh, this should, oh, I guess it is already a set, so I, I, I lied. He, he, he. Right? But then here for gap, maybe in H gaps, then now if gap is in V gaps, then this means that um, this gap length, and maybe this gap, gap length means just like this number of the number of the exact space that we're available. If they're both in horizontal and vertical, then we should be good. So then we can do um, best is equal to max best gap square, right? And that should be good. Um, oh, I have to mod stuff. I don't know why we have to mod stuff. I mean, I think it's just 10 to the 18, right? Hmm. But whatever. So I think it's 10 to the 9, right? Am I not wrong? Um, Hmm. Oh yeah, I mean. Hmm. Wait, how did I even get this? Oh, it is negative one mod. Okay. <laughs> I put okay. Uh this is technically right, but uh but yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, fine. But then it, the mod actually converted to positive. Let's give it a quick spin. It should be n square, so it should be fast enough. Okay. Good, good. I don't know if I explained this one well because I, I think I would because the, the reason why I, I kind of went a little bit fast is because I wasn't quite sure that this was going to be good enough. Um, and so I, I, I didn't want to over explain and then be like, oh, yeah, this is really well. Um, you know, so that's my full disclosure. This is what happens when you do something live, right? Like, you know, I don't know how it goes. But the idea, I think this one uh, is just saying that it's going to be 600 square. Um, or if N is 600, then, you know, this is fine. Right, this is just a 600 square for every possible left and right. Um, and like I said, I did sorting. You don't need to sort. If you don't sort, you just do an add an absolute value here. It's fine. I mean, it's still n square either way, right? Um, and then here, this is n square, right? But this is O of 1, so this is also n square. But again, you could just do a two-pointers thing. Maybe that's a little bit better. I don't know. Um, I, mean, it, uh, I mean, it has better constants, I think, but... But... Um, yeah, we index lookup is pretty exp uh, pretty ch quick. So yeah, um, that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to commando health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.